So we're here in North Carolina, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, and by Asheville. And we came to Sliding Rock, but unfortunately we came on a weekend, so we got all the weekend warriors, and it's a full battle in there. It's a different breed, man. <laughs> we are out of our zone, for sure, I'll tell you that much. But it's cool, go down, check it out. I'm sure the girls aren't gonna last too long here, but oh well, we have to see what's around. It's our fault for coming on a weekend, though. And we're not allowed to park on the street. Parking lot's full. And now they say they're gonna tow us. So I'm gonna try to wedge the two cars in real tight so they can't tow us. <laughs> Buy us a half hour. But we'll see. All right, we gotta go. <laughs> and it's gonna be sketchy for you to back out. Are you excited, dude? Very excited. I bet he got stung by a bee or a wasp or whatever you call them. Again. A wasp? I got stung yesterday at Dax's house. Back to back champ. These bees don't phase me. King of the sting. King of the sting. King of the sting. A few moments later. Oh, Sonny. Yeah, that hurt. Yes. <laughs> they weren't lying when they said slide and rock. I'm going to slide down this. Go slow. I mean, rocks are slick. Okay? We're slick. Oh, my back. Dude, oh. I just slipped. It's just... so cool. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I'm done. How does it feel? It's like an iceberg in there, dude. Oh, shoot. No. Oh, oh it's still on. Huh? How's your day, young I'm man? Gonna I'm going to be warm. We're going to take you for a ride down the cowabunga slide. Down, down the disc slide. It's pretty sketchy, you get whipped around pretty hard on the bumps. Oh god. found this, uh, it's called Sliding Rock here in North Carolina. Obviously a tourist weekend, but it'd be cool to uh, let the kids go down a few times. Check it out, all natural stuff, so it's pretty cool. Hey, it's a freshie, just in case someone needs, in case someone needs it. It's a backup. It's a freshie, dude, it's not even used yet. Your what do you think, Sundog? I think everyone's gonna <laughs> get home with some diaper rash. Diaper rash? There's one down there if you need one. Yeah, I know. You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go? Oh, no. That just looks painful. I am over this. Family trip consists of about 30 minutes. Two hours driving. For four hours of driving. <laughs> For four hours of driving. Okay, so we're out of here. We just went to our little tourist trap weekend here. <laughs> we spent our one day Sunday. We didn't have to race this weekend, so why not do some family stuff, I guess, right? So try to make a few memories. A few memories uh, besides racing every weekend. Like mom said, she said, we gotta do what I wanna do sometimes, so we did. This is not like Hawaii, We did, mom, we did, it's like Hawaii. <laughs> Save, a, <laughs> save our trip from Hawaii. All right, we're gonna go wake surfing off the sea, dude. Okay, and then we're trying to figure out if we're gonna go off the beach. Have you ever done this before? Um, not. I've wake surfed. Um, not off a of sea, dude. Dude, the nose is gonna die. Go.
sick. This is like old fashioned right here. Old fashioned. So I want you to check this out. Not really want to sit here and brag, but I want to get to the facts. So you gotta think, I moved to California. A lot of people know my story that are in moto, but overall, there's still a lot of people out there that don't. You gotta know that I came from Nebraska, moved to California, slept on my buddy's floor when I graduated high school, had no money, started with nothing except a dirt bike that my dad, uh, that I basically had to have the paper route to start off to get it. And then uh, made it to California through meeting people, being outgoing, making stuff happen. Was cool enough to, I uh, had some friends that let me stay with them. And once I got to California, I just went to work. And uh, started opening doors, taking, taking chances, pushing limits. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, raced Supercross, went to uh, X Games, was able to, you know, basically build a, build a brand there. And, just keep working and, and you think came from nothing okay and then a built house you know my first house was a hundred grand and then it's kind of built from there one step at a time and and uh, next thing you know man just working 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 being cool to people meeting you know being outgoing meeting going out meeting people you know i've got shot down thousands of times but there's a few times i didn't and the doors of keep opening and opening you know i've been super blessed so uh you know with the great opportunity and, and just took full advantage of it so you can see here we got our boat dock Nati hooked us up with the boat went old school marketing on them we just cold called them the guy was cool into moto worked out a deal to get a boat which I think we're doing our job of promoting it hopefully help them with boat sales house here <laughs> well I know it's big <laughs> end of the day uh it started off as a smaller house and on our plans and then we just said you know what let's do this this that next thing you know it really grew but it was like a house of our dreams and we really wanted to build it and you know what it just makes me work harder go all right i gotta you know put in some sweat equity i'm not scared to throw the hell mary right because i know you know lord willing you know with health can work my ass off and and basically keep it going and the house is badass and we got to enjoy life hey Anything can happen. Took a lot of risk in my life, and I've made it this far. Um, but you know, I could walk out in the street, get hit by a truck, and die tomorrow. So, you know, I don't, I don't see a big use of hanging on to everything. I feel like it's a curse leaving money for your kids. To be honest, you leave them with wisdom, leave them with knowledge, leave them, leave them with the will to work hard. That's more valuable than ever leaving them with inheritance of money. It's a, it's a recipe for destruction, I'm telling you. Learn from experience, trust me. My dad didn't leave me with no money, he just learned, left me with how to work hard. That was it. So here we are, I love it, I love this area. Everyone around here is cool. Uh, really respect the East Coast, East Coast vibe. And uh, just out riding my dirt bike. Have this KTM Dual Sport. It's been sitting in the garage way too long. I'm gonna enjoy it, okay, enjoy it. Go cruise around, check it out, say what's up to everyone, and just check out the, the mountainsides, Table Rock, and whatever. There's freaking Boone Mountains and so much cool, cool stuff out here that we haven't even seen yet. And uh, hopefully, you know, the kids can grow up to understand the value of life. That's what it's all about, right? So I was ruining it, and I'm just gonna call I you. cut my... No. Oh! Oh, oh you oh, wait. it? No, wait. You still got it. it. He's got it. Oh, wow. Yay! I got my fishing pole that I washed today. Dude, that's the most expensive catch you've got yet. <laughs> Look at that.